あいれえ OK there you go can you hear me? I can hear you yes Yes. Except, so I've got to say something not to the right. Capture entire screen, screen one. Oops. Do you need me to do this? Sorry? They're better. Yeah, except now you're covering the whole screen. That's very weird. Okay, uh, <coughs> leave it like that. Not even shift. Hold on, that's why. That's why, that's why, that's why. Just hold on one moment. Okay. Okay. Uh, something's at me. Yeah, something is at me. Transition. Um, starting screen. Oops, live screen. Okay, transition. Okay, that's you're gonna have to stay like that for now because I don't know why. That's a little bit weird. Okay, but it's okay. At least it gives you the space. Okay, so. <coughs> All right, uh, edit, transition. Okay, there you go. Okay, so that's cool now. All right, now we are there. Okay, so let's just make sure on the back end there that we are good like that. Uh, screen to share. That is what I'm looking for. Okay, there you go. Okay, we sorted. Okay, cool. How's it going? What's up and what's happening there? You benevolent, wonderful souls. Welcome back to the Synergy Sits every Thursday. Sorry, we are technically challenged every single week on this tech. Um, but uh, hey guys, that's all the fun and games of tech and what tech is all about. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for being here with us today on the Synergy Sits show. Welcome back to Synergy Organics. And we are very excited. I'm one of your hosts, Kiara DeCass. And welcome back, Etan. Yes, I'm Edson Dikas. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in here tonight. Looking forward to tonight's session. It's a hot topic for us. Absolutely, guys. So if you have not yet come over to our channel and check, seen what it is that we're busy doing, what we're busy talking about every Thursday, uh, because we don't do videos for you all the time, every single Thursday, we're here with you guys, busy sitting, making some cool videos for you. So do not miss out on the opportunity to go and check those videos out. There is a lot of um, information in those videos. Go check them out down there, guys. We'll leave them pinned in the comments uh, or pinned in the cards above there. But like Etan said, we have a very exciting topic to talk to you guys about today. Uh, today is the 29th of February. We're in the leap year right now. Uh, and of course, we are pursuing greatness in the course of this year so right now today's topic is going to be what are superfoods and how does how do superfoods work what is their purpose are they real or is it a scam uh guys make no mistake we would not have spent 14 years of our lives so far plus building a superfoods company if superfoods were a scam so let's delve right into it Etan, I'll leave this one to you right now. What are superfoods? Wow. Superfoods are nutrient-dense, highly rich minerals, zinc, uh, magnesium, protein, all different kinds of omegas and essential fatty acids. And yeah, basically you can find them in um, specific locations all around the world. Depends on what it is you're looking for. Acai berry comes from uh, the Brazilian rainforest predominantly. It comes off of a palm. Um, we've got uh, cacao powder, not cocoa, cacao powder and cacao nibs and cacao butter. Uh, these kinds of things come from the cacao tree. Um, and those are in tropical areas all around the world. 
and um, you know we've got examples like hemp seeds, uh, dehold hemp seeds. We call them hemp hearts because they're so good for your hearts uh, and your heart health and your brain functionality. So just to sum it up, nutrient dense, rich superfoods, and um, how I like to describe it is you have a massive plate of food and you get that amount of quality of nutrients and what have you coming out of your general meal um, whereas with superfoods you eat that amount of food to gain that amount of uh, nutrition and quality nutrition so it is all about the quality of nutrition that you're inviting inside your body all the time that's a firm belief of ours here today and always actually we love it the quality that goes inside of our body inside of our brain inside of our gut and our minds definitely sync up with our heart as well so all different types of superfoods all around the world provide you with many different functionalities i'm sure many people have heard of lion's mane um, reishi mushrooms all these kinds of things are considered medicinal and superfood kinds of plant-based products I hope that sums it up. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely it does, does you know. Um, just, just to, to kind, kind of add to that, that and just round it off a little bit for, for, for all of you beautiful souls. Superfoods are uh, things, things that, that have changed many people's lives. We've, We've witnessed, witnessed it countless times over our years working with superfoods. Superfoods are, oh, they just powerful. They exactly, it's, it's, the, it's the, the perfect word to describe them. There are foods that are just much more super because they contain, contain more nutrient density per square centimeter of, of actual material that you're eating, the food that you're eating. So if you're eating a burger, as an example, or whatever, a handful of hemp seeds, a handful of hemp seeds has got more protein, more nutri nutri nutrients, and it's healthier for you than a burger. So people are i mean there's an old buddha not an old buddha an old kind of indian fable where there was a an, an old indian guru that was fasting once upon a time and he basically said one hemp seed and he held the hemp seed in his hand and he said to his son one hemp seed a day literally can nourish the entire body and that's because that powerful nutrient density in such a small space, in a little tiny seed, just like a chia seed, just like goji berries, sea buckthorn, all kinds of things that we're going to talk about in this video, just a little bit. That is the key. Nutrient density, multivitamins, antioxidants, protein, healthy fats, omega fatty acids, um, macro minerals, micro minerals, guys. The list goes on. High vitamin C content, all kinds of things. Superfoods are exactly what they say themselves to be. Okay, labeled by us, of course, as humans. Um, what exactly is the hype around uh, superfoods, Etan? Like, what do you see as the hype being? Well, you know, certainly people have been paying a lot more attention to their health and well-being as well as their families um, ever since lockdown happened and yeah, we can mark that down in history but certainly people are paying a lot more attention to the quality of their body and who's actually feeding them uh, because at the end of the day um, the farmer feeds you three yeah. times a day so you definitely want that farmer uh, to keep you nice and healthy if you're not um, growing your own foods so yeah, I mean, what's all the hype around it? Um, it's explorative. You know, more and more people are becoming more aware and more conscious of um, what it is that they eat. I mean, here in South Africa, people are talking about like meatless Mondays, <laughs> um, you know, trying out the whole plant-based, vegan um, kind of lifestyle. And yeah, it's just a conscious awareness about one's health. It's not only about the exercise, it's also about uh, the nutrient intake. Of course, superfoods provide quality nutrients. So, yeah, people are, are curious, generally speaking. Uh, you know, that's, that's generally what I see with people. And um, we deal with a lot of um, clients seeking healing. In other words, they've got cancers, fibroids, all different types of things. So, 
a lot of the time people are reaching out to superfoods in order to assist their quality of nutrients once again quality of nutrients that's amazing and uh, like, uh, like you'll, you'll see, see here in our YouTube, YouTube um, our YouTube, YouTube banner, banner you, you can, can see, see moringa powder, powder look at that nutrient density I mean look at the color of that superfoods are colorful so superfoods come in all different shapes sizes formats um, comes in oils seeds powders roots medicinal herbs uh, mushrooms all kinds of really beautiful things and you know, the thing about superfoods is that, like Etan and I are saying, really, they are just super. And that's exactly what makes them so super. So, there's, truthfully said, the variety of superfoods is so vast on this planet. You could literally just chow those, add them to smoothies, add, you know, have them as and when you can as well. And that in itself... By just, just adding small amounts to your regular lifestyle that you are currently living, your typical food, you can literally change your life. How did it change our lives? I think you guys have heard that story a few times. We will share it properly one day. We are actually um, busy discussing a narrative of our story to put together for you guys so that you can actually see how superfoods really did change our lives. Superfoods completely changed our entire lifestyle. So, you know, that's what makes superfoods so super because you can become a superman, a superhuman, a superwoman, or a super kid. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. You are what you eat, right? So, <laughs> if you're eating superfoods, then aren't you a super being? Precisely. That's definitely got to be it. Exactly it. Well, well, you know, it's, it's an, like, um, my little niece, niece and your beautiful, beautiful daughter, daughter Elie, and your niece, niece and my gorgeous daughter, daughter Luna, Luna, both, both of, of them have literally so far been raised on superfoods their entire being. being. And they are super healthy. They're full of energy. They don't sleep outside of nighttime sleeping ever, um, barely. And... You know, they, they're super healthy. You can see that they're happy. And they are not overweight. They're very much to their structure. And superfoods used in the right way can help one, of course, maintain good body composure. So kids of all ages can eat superfoods. And might I say, we've seen from the pregnancy of Elu uh, and how consumption of superfoods really helped Elu and how intelligent Elu came out as a wonderful being into this earth, even when she cannot talk, I mean, she can't even talk, but yet I was having like a good conversation with her and she could understand me and she responded in a way that she knew was the right way to answer and I was just blown away by that and, and the intelligence of one that comes from being a super being by eating all of these superfoods, your cognitive action, your cognitive recovery, your physical, your mental, your emotional, all of the encompassing actually starts to heal within your body. And that's because you're getting good nutrient-dense foods. So, Etai, are eggs superfoods? Hmm. <laughs> um, I have my views around that. Um, I wouldn't consider it, but some people would, you know, no discrimination against them, but um, <laughs> no, I don't consider them. Do you? <laughs> um, I consider it a superfood only under the classification that it has good quality protein for those that eat eggs and it has... Um, um, it helps with cholesterol in the body if eaten and used right. However, there are much better alternatives in the plant-based world like chia seeds. And I would consider chia seeds to be a much better superfood than an egg. Um, you get more or less the same quantity of protein out of chia seeds to hemp seeds to eggs. So, in fact, hemp seeds wins that battle by quite a mile on the protein side because hemp seeds are... 33 grams of protein per 100 grams um, and egg is about 16 grams of protein and 
uh, of even 14 grams and um, chia seeds are 10 grams of protein per 100 grams. So hemp seeds wins the battle, guys. It's really just that simple. So uh, we don't want to compare plant and plant. In the reality is, you know, a doctor like um, Dr. Eric Berg, he considers an egg to be a superfood. So different people, different views. You have two different answers here. Um, is salmon a superfood? Whew. I mean, if it's farmed, then definitely no. It's riddled with parasites. So I certainly would stay away from it. Uh, fresh salmon would be a fantastic way of uh, consuming it. It does have uh, proteins and minerals in it, but I'm definitely not going to um, express my personal um, views on um, pescatarianism and, you know, um, omnivore types of lifestyles. You know, each to their own. We're all going through our own journey. There's so no discrimination or anything like that. But again, you know, um, it's important to know what it is that you're eating, where it's coming from. And if it's fished fresh, uh, you know, if it's caught fresh, then amazing. You know, and you're cooking it right there, then by all means, it's a way of survival. It also depends on what type of environment we're in as well, you know. But I definitely wouldn't recommend farmed salmon because that's laced with parasites. Lots of it. Yeah, I agree with that uh, notion there. And when you put it that way, to consider it a superfood versus the, the negative effects of eating that, uh, you know, there are, there are studies to show that eating wild-caught salmon is, is actually very beneficial. That, as Etan's saying, and I would also agree with that, is a better, is, that's the right, not just any salmon. Wild caught salmon, that's a superfood. Salmon on farm, definitely not, guys. You know, you, you, you can't, that's what a superfood actually is. A superfood is something that gives you 100% benefit with absolutely zero negative. Okay, most of them, if done organically, like Synergy Organics, and done properly, like Synergy Organics, you will find that your health absolutely skyrockets. Your immune, your immunity becomes better. Your health becomes better. Your uh, aging process slows down. You become all around a superhuman being, and that's why we're going to come continue to repeat that beautiful energy to you guys. So. Our next, next question, question is, is, is garlic, garlic a superfood, food, Etan? <laughs> um, it's a hybridized food. And quite honestly said, a lot of people in the health industry do believe it uh, to be as such. Um, go research, Dr. Sebi. Go research um, hybridized foods. You know, I mean, even our common carrot, <laughs> you know, being orange. Uh, you know, like there's a story behind that. They used to be white. But uh, the Netherlands wanted to, to match its flag, so you know, it became an orange carrot. So, you know, hybridized foods are quite detrimental to the body. Um, they're starchy in nature, and we don't realize it. But, um, you know, with garlic, um, you know, they used to dip bullets in garlic oil, and they would obviously it just skim somebody, and it wouldn't stop bleeding. So you definitely need to, um, you know, tend to that a lot quicker because it just doesn't stop bleeding. Um, it also breaks down the arteries in um, the lining of your veins, in your vascular system, in your arteries. So, you know, we, we like it. It tastes good. It's addictive, like sugar is. It tastes good. Seemingly nothing wrong in the moment there. But, uh, you know, ultimately, you do more research behind plants like this. And uh, no, <laughs> even some forms of ginger, you know, you want more um, roughage. You want to be able to look at the ginger piece. Um, it has to be a lot smaller, um, not this massive piece, because that's farmed. You know, that's that's localized, that farmed stuff that's um, mass produced, got chemicals on it, growth hormones in it, and all the rest. So garlic being one of those, how do you feel about garlic, Yara? <laughs> Yeah, I, I do agree with you, uh, especially following Dr. Sebi's studies as well. I would say that garlic, 
it has its place in the medicinal world from using it as a medicine to help alleviate flu, kill off viral or bacterial infections and help to give an immune boost in a moment. But because of the toxicity of the um, alum or aluminium inside the garlic, that makes it actually very toxic for you. So um, it's a super food medicine and if you look at the ancient um indian cultures as well they own they don't cook with garlic they cook with onions and then they use garlic as medicine so it's um, yeah um oatmeal Etan, is that a superfood oatmeal yeah oats yeah i definitely will um again uh, you know mass uh, monoculture crop and sprayed and all the rest so if you can find a local organic grade then certainly it is a superfood it's rich in fiber and protein and I do believe that it has um, high quality nutrient value especially protein so the carbohydrates are light on the system and you'll be able to you know go throughout the day not feeling so heavy if you're feeling heavy then you know that there's heavy metals and toxins that are inside there herbicides and pesticides so again we're talking about mainstream here you know mainstream monoculture anything including the, uh, all different types of superfoods so yeah we definitely believe um in more of a permaculture environment you know where, where um, everything's grown as a biodiverse ecosystem and the same thing applies to your body. You know, if you're eating lettuce and tomato every single day, thinking that you're being healthy, you're not quite. You need as much biodiversity as possible. Things that don't even come from the store, go to your local African market or somewhere and just explore plants that you've never seen in the store. And I promise you, you're going to get quality nutrient there. So oats, I love oats, but we've got to be uh, careful where it comes from. I agree. Um, I think oats have their place in moderation, just like it's I'm saying, and just like anything else. Um, the one benefit about oats is like for an athlete is that it can help. Oats can help you to pick up a bit of mass. Um, it can give you a bit of energy, um, and that's probably about it. So it gives you like the necessary short-term carbohydrates that you need for you know, to boost your exercise and essentially to gain a bit of muscle, but mass because of the carbs. But that, did you hear the word that I used? Mass. Not muscle mass, but mass. There's a difference between lean muscle mass. Um, and if I show you guys this video here that we did a little while ago, these dudes here are lean muscle mass. How do they get there? Well, they reduce carbohydrates and sugar. Undoubtedly, first two things out of there. Out. You use carbohydrates in a very specific way. This dude that's going around around on the internet, B shred, maybe it works for his body type. Not every body type is is the same. Um, is the same, and this is why you will see that one person that can chow lots of carbohydrates and can function on those carbohydrates and be lean, they must be doing something to make sure that they are utilizing those carbohydrates in a very specific way. So for me, I don't eat oatmeal because I only make it in, I use it for as a muffin base every now and then when I'm making like banana muffins. Um, but I, I use like um, banana with a bit of, a bit of oat milk, oat milk. Um, and then what else would I do? I'd add a bit of um, oat flour and a little bit of stevia and some chocolate or cacao nibs or whatever we want in there some and then some protein some hemp protein or pea protein or something like that i'd add that there's a higher quality protein muffin that is then balanced out by small amounts of carbohydrates so for me oats is mucus producing i one can instantly feel if your body is nice and clean you can actually feel when you eat oats, you start to get congested and it starts to develop and build a bit of mucus in the in the body. So, yeah, it has its benefits, but I don't I, I don't take it in the 
in the superfoods box. Uh, that's just my personal view. Um, everybody has their own views, like we say. So, Etan, tell us what are the top seven superfoods? By your view, of course. Oh my gosh. Uh, my view, that's that's definitely it. And I, I just want to touch into uh, a shout out to Mr. David Avocado Wolf. I mean, his middle name is Avocado because he eats so much avocado. He considers that a superfood. Now, if you know the gentleman, he's done years, decades worth of research in the superfood industry. And he's got, his middle name is Avocado. So this just goes to show you how powerful avocados can be. Again, where they grow and how they grow and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But yeah, fantastic them. Answer your question. And in no particular order, but hemp hearts is like a favorite. Chunk that down in anything. Superfoods on my pasta, on anything I can get my hands on. I'm definitely sprinkling that on. I love the mix of cacao nibs and goji berries. That's like just amazing for me. Then um, I would say spirulina. It's fantastic. It's really high in protein. Um, it helps decalcify the pineal gland, um, but also um, creates happy endorphins and really gives a quality form of chlorophyll. Um, we are plants. 20% uh, of our body actually does uh, photosynthesize. So spirulina is fantastic there. Um, I would say uh, sea buckthorn powder. My gosh, sea buckthorn powder is so tangily delicious. I love it. It's a it's a super poo, um, little berry that's grown in the Himalayan mountains. I wish. I mean, we were growing some plants or whatever, but they got a bit destroyed. But um, the berries, even fresh, like will create such amazing taste in the mouth, and we can consider it to be like a, a nature's ogros <laughs> if we squeeze it fresh. But even making it in a glass of water as a powdered form really incredible so that i'd say um baobab is an incredible one for me all different types of nutrients in there also another tanginess uh to its um the taste i love it i had it this evening on my dinner and um yeah it's just really it's so tasty you can make sauces from it um put it as a dry powder onto uh, your food or what have you in your smoothie in many different ways of using it a lot of people utilize it as a as a tanginess in uh, desserts as well so it's diverse you can have it savory or sweet um and that's great and moringa moringa my word has so many different amazing properties to it um high in calcium high in iron iron magnesium testosterone building it is gut cleansing Really fantastic for the mind, body, and soul. So, I think that's my seven. Zara, and you? Yeah. Tell me about yours. Um, I'm, I'm not, not even going to tell, tell people, people, people why. I think you did such, such a great, great description on that. that. Hemp, Hemp parts would be my number one. one. Um, just I uh, will detail, detail that one and why I'm going to place it at the king of superfoods is because high protein, our bodies, our entire bodies, our tissue, our bone, our hair, our nails, our eyes, everything is built up. Our DNA, DNA even is built up of protein, protein and hemp is, is a perfect protein. protein. It is a complete, perfect, perfect protein. It contains all 20, uh, 21 essential amino, essential and non-essential amino acids. It also contains a perfectly balanced ratio of omega-3, 6, and 9 in a 3 to 1, 1 ratio. It's very low in carbohydrates, very little sugar, very little sodium, and it's also got a ton of fiber in it. So... For me, that is a perfect, perfect superfood right there. I would then definitely and ultimately place, um, sure, it's a tough decision between Moringa and Baobab, but I'd have to say Moringa, I'd place second, Baobab third, um, oh, sea buckthorn fourth, goji berries fifth, cacao sixth, because it's really the way that it builds blood. And you can, you can see, see why, why different superfoods, superfoods everyone, everyone, you can see, see why, why different superfoods are actually, actually very important to have in specific quantities throughout each day, throughout each meal that you're having. Those are very, very important to have. So, you know, number seven for me, chia seeds probably, just because of the fiber to protein to fat content and that. 
also helps build muscle also tastes good very versatile superfood so oh yeah i have to throw in a bonus one there i, I say you powder because of the the antioxidants that are 50 times more than blueberries and blueberries are really powerfully loaded with antioxidants so yeah quick tip frozen blueberries um end up having a lot more antioxidants uh to them uh, yeah, if you eat your blueberries frozen, aka smoothies, it really provides you with antioxidative, um, anti-aging properties. I agree so with a nice list. I, I, I agree, agree with, with that actually, it's only because you know often like I'll go home from a late night work session like this at the office, and if I'm really hungry, you need to have something that's not high in calories, doesn't contain fats that are going to sit in the body while you're sleeping and keep you up and awake something that's not terribly high in protein something that is very high in vitamins and minerals and antioxidants so that your body can help fight free radicals while it's asleep and frozen a cup of frozen blueberries at night it does the job very well it's a nice little treat tantalizing yeah. i'm definitely gonna jump off and get some refreshing ones <laughs> i love that so um Etan, what are the best fruits to eat every day and which fruits would you consider to be a superfood? Wow, um, good question. And again, not in any particular order, but uh, papaya came first to mind, particularly the papaya seeds because of its anti-parasitic um, benefits. Uh, definitely watermelon seeded. Watermelon is fantastic. Eating the seeds is also very high in protein, really will help get rid of the parasites, but it's very really hydrated. Um, H3O2 is a fantastic thing in all fruits, and the more fruits you eat, the more hydrated you'll feel, the less you're going to want to actually drink water, um, or be inclined to want to drink water. But the water is flushing you out at a DNA limit, really getting rid of the old junk and gunk there. Lime. Um, key limes are fantastic. Make sure that they're seeded as well. Uh, key limes are, are lymphatic cleansing and really just amazing for the body's alkalinity level. Um, so that will do good. We've, we've mentioned the bl uh, blueberries and blackberries. I think blackberries are also really, really powerful antioxidative effects. Um, not too common, but again, um, really good for the system there. I mean, bananas are a given depending on the time of day but rich in potassium and all the rest. Again, commercialized bananas, it's kind of hard, you know, not to, um, but yeah, I mean, you can have a have a, an acre or a hectare of jungle and grow your bananas in there. It's actually really, really easy to grow bananas. Um, wow, uh, sure, we, pomegranates, fantastic. I mean, pomegranates were in paintings all around the world. Pomegranates are incredibly um, fantastic for the crown chakra. You can actually see um, the way that it's shaped is like a cone of a crown, um, well, at the top there, at the top of the nose. So it really helps the brain and the nervous system, um, good for premenstrual cramps and all different types of things. Mm, uh, fruits, fruits. I mean, gosh, I love mangoes. Everybody, well, a lot of people love mangoes. Uh, really hydrative, really refreshing, really tasty there. But, um, you know, I'm the type of person that hasn't had like cacao fresh. I would love to eat cacao fresh, that meat. Oh my gosh. It just looks so tantalizing a lot of the time. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get there. Also with the baobab, baobab is actually a dry fruit. So crack it open and it's more of a powder. And you would have that as, as the flesh. Um, yeah, and you, Chiara, tell me a little bit more about your fruits uh, that you enjoy or what you consider superfoods. Yeah, um, uh, I, like I like your list. list. I, I don't think we actually have to extend on that list. I like your list. I think that's a good list. Um, guys, so just so that you know, there is quite a variety of fruits out there. Uh, things like graviola, um, soursop, uh, custard, custard. Custard apple, there's plenty, 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 durin, plenty fruits out there in this world. And most of them, if they're wild or um, 
organic, even organic is a bit weird, but like real organic quality, you know, grown in your own backyard kind of vibe. That is the healthiest superfood you can get, even better than superfood powders. Superfood powders are just concentrates and extractions of those superfoods, uh, of those real fruits. And that's why we give this to you guys, because superfoods, uh, and real fruits like that are very hard to come. So we give it to you guys in a pack, and you use small amounts, get you a long way nutrient, nutrient density. So, Etan, could you explain um, to our audience, perhaps, you know, the, the simple steps that they should start on how to start choosing the right superfoods for themselves, you know, if they're on, a, like, a, a small budget, um, what would you say to our audience? And guys, before Etan answers that, if you're enjoying the content, like, subscribe, and share. We're going to share some cool recipes with you, so make sure to enjoy the journey. Yummy, yummy. I mean, goji berries are a fantastic place to start. They're really, relatively easy to access, so that's fun. Hemp seeds, so hemp hearts, are becoming more and more popular in the market, uh, so definitely um, that's set at a good price. Uh, chia seeds are fantastic. You can make a porridge from it. So midwinter vibe or even summer, you know, it's cold porridge. Um, you soak them and you can utilize them for all different types of things. Something like flaxseed, golden flaxseed, incredible um, for the gut lining and gut health and all the rest. So, you know, that that's inexpensive. Um, we haven't even discussed legumes and beans. Um, I would I would stay away from soybeans because uh, they leach the body of iron. Um, you know, it's you know, you definitely end up anemic if you're having soy consistently. Um, it's just a reality. I know a lot of um, our community does love soy and tofu and all the rest. So again, every now and then, you know, it's like an indulgent treat. But once you have the knowledge, what do you do with the knowledge? It's an important thing. But all different types of legumes, um, you know, lentils being one high source of protein. Um, yeah, that's fantastic. Um, chickpeas, very healthy. You can make um you know stew from it or uh make a dessert you know boil them up cool them off um blend them put them in a dessert kind of environment so that's fantastic something we also haven't mentioned is honey you know getting access to good quality honey is also very important um considered superfood um in many respects uh <laughs> but yes uh, there's that debate about hey you know saving the bees and all the rest i do get that and um yeah just stay with that uh yeah i mean so that's that's a wide variety of um, access to different types of superfoods moringa is a local superfood so it's very easy and very accessible for the community um a lot of people actually grow moringa um in the wild and in their backyards or at their plots or farm or ranch whatever you want to call it and you can pick those fresh you know and eat them fresh and boil them up that's really like this fantastic um, water purifier um, and so much more, so many other benefits to it. But yeah, you can also dry that out and then make it into your own powder kind of thing. The seed pods also. Mesquite, another one we didn't even mention on here. I mean, we have mesquite coffee often, but the mesquite powder is it's so tasty. Really, it's tasty. Um, it's a nice sweetener. And yeah, that's that's also easily accessible and affordable. You know, I think that's a big debate with um, a lot of people wanting to make the transition. Uh, you know, hey, it's so expensive. Yeah, go do your research and you'll find that um, later on in life you could be paying for medical bills. You know, also right then and there, you know, a, a kilogram of steak is <laughs> not that cheap. You know, you're paying in a restaurant a lot of money for that. So you're saying, hey, you know, it's expensive and all the rest. I get that. But again, quality of a quantity. And you need far less of, say, the Moringa or the hemp parts um, in order to um, create the same effect, the same quality of effect inside your body, uh, at different types of um, qualities of protein in them. So all of these are very accessible. You just got to go look at it. Turmeric being another one. Coconut oil, like organic coconut oil pulling it. I mean, it lasts long. You you use it as an oil pull to get rid of uh, unhealthy um, bacteria in the mouth. Uh, that's, you know, accessible. I mean, olive oil, 
you know, cold pressed olive oil, you know, is considered very so, healthy grapeseed oil. So, so it's on. Sorry, sorry to jump, jump in, in there. there. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't. Right. Let's let's, let's not, not give the audience, audience too many. Just, just if, if you don't, you don't mind, mind, let's keep it simple for the audience. audience. So, so just pick one. Pick one. Pick one what? One superfood. What's, What's the, the best, best superfood, superfood you would give to the audience to start? I mean, hemp hearts. Definitely. Hemp hearts. That's what it is. Hemp hearts is exactly it. I agree, I agree with, with you. you. I, I would, would say hemp hearts. And guys, I'm showing you the recipes here on our website. Chocolate Abba Moustache, hemp burgers, gluten-free um, brownies, granolas, chia bowls, balls, soups, juices, wraps, milkshakes, um but healthy bowls chocolate spread um warm bowls curries muffins ice cream sauces energy balls dips breads smoothies but well, you name it you could add hemp seeds too like that you could even just literally take them out the pack and just ah, gobble them up that's how easy it is guys hemp seeds i agree with you it's an are the number one superfood to be chomping now is there a is there an amount that um, an individual should be having first of all give um, us an idea of how much hemp seeds one should be having can they eat too much firstly of the hemp seeds and secondly give a very broad and general idea of is it and just as simple as possible is it good to eat, indulge on superfoods and overuse superfoods also? Uh, fantastic question. Hemp parts particularly, no. You can't over-consume them, certainly. But uh, the recommended dose, I would say, um, you know, two tablespoons a day if you're doing high-intensity exercise. Um, but if you're not and you want to keep, just keep relatively healthy, you know, one tablespoon of that is fantastic you know, inside your smoothie uh, for the day or on your dinner in the evening. Really easy to utilize it. I love uh, it. Um, yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree with, with that. that. You, you can... can well, yeah, yeah, you, you can, can use your superfoods. I mean, I, I use my superfoods every day and, you know, <laughs> so does it's it's so does our entire family, so does most, most of our staff. staff. Um, you know, really, guys, superfoods are magic. So that's just really the truth of superfoods. Um, the most important thing that you need to know about your superfoods is that you need good, high-quality superfoods, and that's why we have spent our entire lives procuring and sourcing the best, highest-quality ingredients for you guys from across the world because not everything is found locally. Um, we have to import like 90% of our superfoods to you guys. Uh, here, here in South Africa, Africa but around, around the world, you know, different, different superfoods are accessible in different regions and different places. And, and that's, that's why we have decided, you know, to build our company and really bring superfoods right to your door. We ship um, at the moment anywhere around South Africa and surrounding countries. This year we will be um, drop shipping our products to you guys across the world. So you'll be able to order the products from across the world. So if you like that, please smash the thumbs up on the video. Um, so in other words, a little, a little can, can take, take you a long way, way but overindulging is not going to hurt you, if I could say that. that. That's, That's probably a, a good way to, to say that. So, um, yeah. I'd say Moringa, you know, Moringa, if you go to overconsume it, is really going to clean your colon out. So, you know, be mindful of the kinds of superfoods you're uh, indulging in. Precisely so. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, you know what, what superfoods you're, you're combining at specific times. But guys, I'm pretty confident we've got a second superfoods video coming out for you pretty soon. So make sure to stay tuned because there will definitely be a part two of the session. Um, today, we just wanted to answer your questions uh, that you have been asking. Our beautiful community have been asking us plenty of questions on what are superfoods, how to use them, are they expensive? Am I going to be out of budget? None of that stuff is really real. Depends on the budget that you're on. Um, but yeah, guys, you pay for quality, and that's just the that's just the real truth about superfoods. Um, and because this is all imported, of course, it's slightly more than something that you would try and find locally. But 
none of not none but most of these superfoods you can't you can't find locally and that's why we bring you synergy organics beautiful superfoods range from across the world right in the palm of your hands guys it's done do you have any last words you'd like to share to the community about superfoods and the importance of superfoods in one's life and why it helped us transition to where we are today Go and be a super glorious human being uh, with this knowledge and um, tap into all of our other videos to find out how it is you can utilize um, a healthy way of living to better yours and your family's health and well-being. Certainly so. You're going to see a lot of change happen over that period of time. Um, you're changing your body weight, your dynamic, your energy levels are going to be increased. So there's a lot of benefits that come with um, eating superfoods, uh, especially raw, not cooked. That's something we didn't mention. Um, you know, we, we want to avoid cooking with superfoods because it breaks down the nutrient content actually within anything. But um, yeah, for the most part, that's my shared tip. Thank you for listening in. Many blessings to you all and uh, grateful for, for all of your support. Loving, loving the people that are purchasing superfoods, getting to explore it and all the rest. Thank you. Absolutely, Absolutely. agree agree with you guys. This has been very real real being back back with you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. Every Every single single Thursday, 7 p.m., we are here with you guys guys talking about nutrients, nutrition, superfoods, and how they can transform your life. Do not miss out on one session. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much for being here. It's an appreciate you on the channel once again. And to our audience, we love you. You take care and ask us down in the comments below anything relating to your health and your well-being. We'll see if one of our professionals can help answer your questions. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Etan. Love you all. We'll see you on the next one. Blessings. Blessings.